welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain about automotive stamping clamp left side you can see the clamp and right side is a form tool so this is the clamp i am going to create create in sheet metal module and this is the forming tool So I am going to create this forming tool also. So let's start now. I am going to create a forming tool. So initially we have to go to the new file and open new part file. So to minimize the video time, so I have created a new sketch in the front plane so this is the sketch and with dimensions so now i am going to create extruded boss with this sketch so we have to go to mid plane and depth is 127 Now select this face, keep it normal, take a rectangle, this is 50.8. If you want we can give outer dimension also so at this moment I'm, I'm not dimensioning so go to cut extrude see so we have to select through all both sides see this angle is created now now go to feature go to fillet so this is 20 mm select all of the edges apply fillets this location this is 8 8 mm now we have to select so this tangency will happen if you don't apply we have to go to individually so now this is 2 mm so because of this tangency it is propagating to all the edges so the fillets has been created now now 
I'm going to create this feature. So I have to make cutout. So select this face, go to sketch, keep it normal. Select So this is 40 This is 30 This is 30. Select midpoint. Select this point and keep it vertical. Go to feature, cut out. So depth I am keeping 2 mm, 5 mm sorry. So depth should be always more than the double the thickness. So sheet thickness I am going to take 2 mm. So 2 mm plus 2 mm, 4 mm. So 1 mm additional have taken that is 5 mm 5 mm we can take more also but it should be more than 4 mm so go to fillet and uh, fillet is 2 mm Now I am going to create this protrusion for hole, creating hole. So select this face, go to sketch, create a circle. The center distance is 40. This one is 10 mm layer. This protrusion, protrusion should be more than the sheet thickness. So I am keeping 10 mm, sorry 5 mm. Now I am going to create this feature. Select this face, select sketch, keep it normal, go to slot feature, this is 15. Right click midpoint, 
make it horizontal this is 32 now we have to go to extruded boss So this is 5 mm. Now we have to create fillets. Select this face, select this edge and this edge. It is 2 mm. So if it is double the thickness, more than the double the thickness, it doesn't intersect. Now select this face, go to sketch, keep it normal, take one circle, select this edge, right click, midpoint, select this point make it horizontal and this distance is 32 go to feature say hi i have to give the dimension to the diameter so this is 10 Say okay. Now go to feature, extruded boss. Select this sketch. So it is 5 mm depth. So this is created now. Now select this face, go to sketch, keep it normal, create one more circle, this is 15 mm. Select this edge, select midpoint and this center point of the circle, keep it vertical. Midpoint, select this center point, make it horizontal, go to extruded boss. and give 5 mm you can give any height should be more than the thickness of the sheet then only the hole forms so now I have to create this gusset feature select this uh, two faces go to center plane Select this plane, it automatically creates a center plane. Say OK. Select this plane, go to sketch, keep it normal, keep it in wireframe. Create one line. This is 10.
this is 20 we have to go to the riff feature and this uh, depth I am giving 5 mm See this fillet this rib has been created hide this plane and create fillets so this is 2 mm equivalent to thickness we have to create fill it once again select this edge so this is 3 mm so this cassette feature has been created now we have to create the form tool so we have to go to sheet metal select form tool so here stopping phase should be this bottom face and the removing surface faces should be the stop face so since we are making holes see this for the sheet metal holes we have to select this top and cylindrical faces for all the three bosses say ok so we finally we have to save this file in this folder so there is a shortcut right click and open this folder and we can save this file next time going to create this clamp so for creating clamp we have to open new file so I am in the new file I have selected the top plane and created this sketch by 300 by 300 mm now go to sheet metal create a base flange and I have taken the thickness of the sheet as 2 mm and k factor is 0.4 now we have to select this clamp so before that we have to move the direction of the sheet so I am placing from bottom side So we can position according to requirement. So I have, I have placed at the origin. No, say OK. Now, see this uh, component is uh, deformed as per the requirement. Now we have to remove the additional material. Select this face, go to sketch, convert entity, go to sheet metal, extruded cut. Say through all, say okay. See, 
we have this additional material so we have to remove this so to create the shape so what we have to do is select this face go to sketch keep it normal go to wireframe and select this edge go to offset and give 6 mm make it reverse direction similarly select this edge go to offset entity reverse direction select this edge offset entity reverse direction here also select this edge offset entity so it is selecting the loop select any edge and offset entity 6 mm say okay now go to trim go to corner trim select these lines to close the loop say okay so i have created this sketch at, at this face now go to sheet metal extrude cut through all so this is done now we have to remove this sharp edges so go to sheet metal go to break corner select this edges so okay so this sharp edges has been removed now now this component is ready so that is how we have to create the stamping components for automobile thank you very much